In 2006, filmmaker Josh Fox received a letter in the mail offering him $100,000 for permission to drill for natural gas on his land. He knew that in 2005, Congress had passed a bill exempting gas companies from environmental regulations. He wanted to know what impact the drilling would have on his land, so he took his camera across the United States to discover the truth about hydraulic fracturing. The method of gas drilling they use is called hydraulic fracturing, or fracking. It blasts a mix of water and chemicals 8,000 feet into the ground. The fracking itself is like a mini earthquake. The intense pressure breaks apart the rock and frees up the gas. Six states have documented over 1,000 incidents of groundwater contamination. It bubbles and hisses when it comes out. <laughs> I won't drink it. They can drill whether we like it or not. It's a free-for-all. Our water was good before they started drilling, and when they got done, it was bad. Obviously, we have a problem here. The Colorado Oil and Gas Commission is aware of the situation and will probably be doing some additional testing in the area as soon as possible. There has been concern raised about the methods to tap these valuable resources. They have been characterized as environmentally risky and inadequately regulated. Such reports are not accurate. The neurological effects are very insidious. Everybody was sick, including me. I have these lesions in my brain. You get pains, pains all over your body. If you weren't able to do this hydraulic fracturing, how much more would we be dependent on foreign oil and terrorism? I have one quote here from you that says that you're trying to do this in a way that doesn't damage the environment. But you also said recently that uh, water contamination is inevitable. Well, areas. yeah, I mean... Um, are those contradictory or...? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Despite documented health risks and environmental impact, hydraulic fracturing is spreading across the globe. It's amazing that what took Mother Nature millions of years to build can be destroyed in a few hours with a piece of heavy machinery. What it's doing is uh, searching for a problem that does not exist. Whoa, Jesus Christ. It's not supposed to do that.